Okay, so there's a couple of things today. Oh, we haven't even talked about that yet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. so last video, um, we melted the um, uh, belts uh, because we were a bit too impatient to see which glue worked the best, but it turns out the Araldite, the two-part epoxy, works really well. Um, and I've been trying to pull this apart. For the last two weeks, last two weeks <laughs> it still hasn't managed and it. Has, it. And it hasn't managed it. So really, we could have done it with epoxy, but and if you want to need to finish, you can do it this way. You can see it's really like well, you, you could had to scrape like uh, parts of the belt off on yeah. the top and bottom of yeah. these as well. Yeah. The other thing we're going to do is fix a knife. Yes. It may look like this knife is not broken, but it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, this is just a good opportunity to actually demonstrate how you could fix something with 3D printing. Yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just measure the diameter of the shaft there Yeah. Um, and make a knee piece which is roughly like that. Actually there is a good reason, Like you, you may not be able to see it on the video, but the whole, I mean this is probably Bakelite or something, mm. it's some kind of early plastic and it's the whole thing is cracked. It's so I mean, I don't know, you'd have to soak it in resin or something to actually make a lasting repair. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think this is actually something where I'd need a replacement, apart from just throw this in the bin, but that's a bit of a shame. Yeah. What sort so, of knife is it? Um, it says silver nickel plating. Just going to get the vernier caliper as close, in fact, no, next step. <laughs> now we've actually filmed the whole knife, is I'm going to break the rest off. Alright. So they can work out. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> You're not. Wait for my knife, so I spray the butter. <laughs> so, I mean, probably I should be wearing eye protection or something, but. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> In a way, you are wearing eye protection. I am wearing eye protection. <laughs> so, that's sort of that, so I can measure this easily enough. Yeah, so it's roughly. 4.7, 4.8 millimeters. Okay. So I guess the best thing to do is like try to get the the hole in the part that I make. If anything, a tiny bit smaller than that, mm. and it should just push in easier. Uh, I had a tr bit of trouble getting the the curved end like that, so I just had to cut the end of the knife off in the end. Okay. Because um, the model wasn't watertight, I think there was some mm. gap in the mesh somewhere. And SketchUp can't really fix that easily, so yeah. The SketchUp isn't really the best program to. Uh... Um, I guess actually SCAD is probably the best one to use, but yeah, it's like not I haven't. Friendly. Well, it's more of a programmer's 3D pro program, I think. So I mean, in a way, I should learn to use it, but I just mm. haven't devoted any time to that yet. Um, so probably in SCAD, you could actually kind of describe in programming language. Kind of what shape you wanted it to be, mm. and it would just work out how to make it watertight. Yeah. But uh, no, I mean for now it's just. I mean obviously with a knife, it's more important to have the like these bits yeah. curved. So at least I've managed to do that. Yeah. And the end is just a bit of nice decoration, which. Is on. So it's the hole is on the tight side at the moment. So potentially, I am going to have to print it again, Great. allowing a little bit more. Can't you just drill a hot drill the hole? Well, yeah, yeah, I'm going to try drilling it out, and if that doesn't work, then yeah, I'm just going to have to enlarge the hole a little bit. Okay. Maybe I'll have to make the piece a bit thicker as well. But yeah, I think for the, the thickness of filament I was using, this probably is actually stretching it a bit mm. too far. I mean, it could have probably done with the higher definition. Yeah. But uh, the thing is, if I drill it out to five millimeters, then It'll probably be a bit, a bit too small. We we'll do four and a half. Yeah. Okay, there was a bit of resistance, so I guess I've removed a bit of plastic there. So this measured at about 4.7, Yeah. so hopefully 0.2 of a mil will be enough to uh, give it a bit of friction. So yeah, the shank is slightly oval mm. as well, so it is better to just get it in at the right orientations to start with. So 
working. It is working. Just want to get it lined up nicely. Knife. Wow. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck. So yeah, that bit's nice and tight. <laughs> <laughs> Can you 3D print the other side uh, of it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sound like you had a glorious moment. Yeah, it was a glorious moment. <laughs>